a very good morning to all today we are going to start the new lesson lesson number 7 the world of plants what it is children the world of plants so here we are going to discuss about plants okay we are going to discuss about plants we have many different kinds of plants in our world isn't it they are categorized into many different types that only we are going to discuss in this chapter okay children shall we start to see for this first heading big plants and small plants okay plants are classified into two different types okay one is big plants and another one is small plants okay different plants have different sizes isn't it children yes different plants have different sizes some plants are big some plants are small isn't it some plants are big in size some plants are very small in size okay that only we are going to see in this chapter okay children shall we start to read it first we are going to first talk about big plants what it is children big plants what is the spelling of big b i g big plants p l a n t s plants big plants what is it about big plants shall we start to see that okay, very big plants are called trees what it is very big plants are called trees we call very very big plants are called trees okay children trees live for many years isn't it yes trees and all live for many years okay most trees have branches okay most of the trees have branches okay then the examples of trees they give it here are neem tree banyan tree and mango tree or big plants what are all the big plants children neem tree banyan tree and mango tree okay what they said about big plants is that we call big plants of trees okay may mostly trees live for many years okay trees also have many branches okay the example of trees are neem tree banyan tree and mango tree the this such trees only they given here i am going to show you these plants okay i am going to show you the plants these plants grow like a big okay so they are called trees okay see this have many branches and it have a flower also see yellow color flower so these plants grow very big in size that does it to be tree okay i showed you only the branches of only one branch i am showing you here okay this is also a tree only i am here showing you only one branch of this plant okay children and this also see here is also one of the small plant i am showing here it is also grow as a very big plant so this is also a tree okay children this is a example of tree that i am showing you here i showed you only one branch okay are you clear about what is tree here very big plants of our trees okay children it is also many branches it is for many years also okay and then what is said about trees see the stem of a tree is called the trunk okay the stem of a big tree the stem of a big tree is called what it is trunk what is it right trunk what is the name spelling of trunk t or u n k trunk trees gives us shade fruits and food okay what are all the trees gives they gives us shade fruit and food also trees are homes of many animals such as birds and monkeys isn't it trees are homes of for animals such as birds and monkeys birds stay in the tree only you know they build the nest and they stay in the tree only and also monkeys used to stay in the tree only it will uh, travel from one place to another by using the tree isn't it children so trees are home of animals such as birds and monkeys okay children these are all about big plants okay what was all about the big plants 
this type of a tree is called a triangle it has many shapes size and color okay and it is also have flower also okay the uh, trees of forms of many animals such as birds and monkeys this is all about big plants okay children then we are going to discuss about small plants okay then we are going to discuss about small plants okay small plants are smaller than trees okay small plants are smaller than trees is it right my right, children yes why we call small plant because it is smaller small plants are smaller than trees is it children so we call very small plants as plants only small plants only okay then stems are thinner the stems are thinner and weaker small plants stems are very thinner and also weaker but big plants stems are thicker okay it is not it is very strong so when compared to the big plants small plants stems have very thinner and weaker stem okay children they are not very tall they are also not very tall which means they are not also very big the, the examples of the category the, the category of small plants are herbs shrubs climbers and creepers are small plants they categorize small plants or herbs shrubs okay what it is herbs shrubs climbers and creepers are small plants okay we are going to discuss about of one by one about this okay shall we start with the first topic herbs okay what is herbs see what is the spelling of herbs h e r b yes herbs herbs are very small plants see we are talking about small plants only when comparing to small plants herbs are very small plants they have weak and thin stems they also have very weak and thin stems the stems of herbs are very soft okay the stems of herbs are very soft see i am going to show you the example of herbs or tulasi see here it is a leaf of tulasi okay see how the stems looks like it is very thin stem how the stems looks like children see it is very thin and weaker and that is also very soft okay and and i'm going to show you about the herbs coriander what it is see coriander its stems also very thin and weaker and it is also very soft we can easily uh, like this we can do this, do like this okay with this coriander and then i'm going to show you uh mint what it is i'm going to show you mint the stems is also very thin and weaker okay children so the examples of herbs we can say coriander mint and tulasi okay children are you all clear about this what are all the uh, herbs what are all the herbs what i said about herbs examples mint tulasi and coriander okay children because the stems are all very thin and weaker and, and also the stems are very soft okay children and this also very small plants okay and then we move to the shrubs okay shrubs are bigger and taller than herbs shrubs are bigger but taller than herbs okay shrubs have hard and woody stems how the stems of herbs shrubs be children be children hard and woody stems okay what we uh, said about big plants children stems is very thicker and strong is it like trees have very thicker and woody uh, stems and it is very strong we call as trunk if we move to the small plants we are classifying small plants into four types one is herbs shrubs climbers and creepers okay herbs are very small in size and it is also stems are weak and thin the stems of herbs are very soft also okay i showed you tulasi mint and uh, coriander isn't it if we move to the shrubs are bigger but taller than herbs okay 
Shirts have hard and woody stems. Here I am going to show you hibiscus. Hibiscus flower. See, the stem is hard. See how the stem of hibiscus flower look like. It is very hard and it is also woody. Okay. So the examples of example of shirts is I showed you here hibiscus plant. Okay. We can call rose plant. Jasmine and also we can call uh, an example of for shirts. Okay, children. Today uh, here we have discussed about trees, herbs, and shirts. Okay, children. Next we are going to discuss about climbers. Okay, children. What is climbers? What is the spelling of climbers? C L I M B E or yes. Climbers. Okay, children. What this is about climbers? Shall we start to see it? The stem of a climber is long and thin, like a rope. How the stem of a climber looks like, children? The stem of a climber is very long and also thin, like a rope. It means it like goes. It it looks like a rope. Okay. So the stem of a climber is very long also, and it is thin, like herbs and shrubs. Okay, children, and like a rope. It is not stiff enough to hold the plant straight. Okay, and it is also not stiff enough to hold the plant. It will not grow straight like shrubs and herbs. Okay, it is not grow like shrubs and herbs and also like tree. So what we have to do? We have to make the stiff of the plant. To grow, climbers need a support to stand upright. Okay, so climbers need what they need. They need a support to stand upright. So what we have to do? We have to plant the trees like that to grow. See, this plant are called climbers. See, children, how it looks like. So climbers is not stressed. It is not. It is not stiff. See, it is not stiff enough to hold the plant straight. See now, I'm. I am holding this, isn't it? I am holding the plant. It is not stiff enough. See, if I lift this, what it have children see? It is coming down itself, isn't it? So the climbers is not stiff enough to hold the plant straight. So climbers need a support to stand up. And see, if they need a support. See, if I just like this, means see, it had a support. See, so. It had a support, isn't it? So it had a support like a wall or window or anything. It may be if it had a support only, they will grow. Okay. So this is an example of climbers. See, and also I have another plant is also. See, this is also a yeah, climber. It also need a yeah, plant. It is also need support to grow. It is also not stand erect. Okay, children. This is an example of climbers. Okay. This is an example of. Climbers. Next, we are going to see about creepers. Okay. Next, we are going to see about creepers. What is the spelling of creepers, children? C or E E P E or yes, creepers. Creepers have big stems. See, creepers also have very big stems. They cannot stand erect. They also cannot stand erect. A creeper grows. Along the ground, the creepers. How it grow? It grow along the ground. Example is pumpkin and watermelon. This is pumpkin and watermelon are called creepers because it grows along the ground and it is also not stand erect and it is the stem is also very big. Okay, children. Here, we have discussed about big plants and small plants. Isn't it? We have discussed about big plants and small plants. Big plants are called trees. And small plants are smaller than trees. And they are classified into four parts, isn't it? Herbs, shrubs, climbers, and creepers, isn't it, children? We have saw lot of things about that. And then we are going to discuss about use of plants. What it is? Uses of plants. Okay. How the plants are used for us, children? Plants are used for us in many ways, isn't it? That only we are going to see here. Okay. Plants are used. Many ways, isn't it? Plants are useful to us in many ways. Plants make the air fresh for us to breathe. Yes, plants only making air as 
giving as fresh air as to breathe. Okay, without plants and trees, human beings can't live in this world. So, without plant, we can't live. Plants only make the air fresh for us to breathe. So, only all of us telling to grow, to plant trees and plants towards us, isn't it? So, plants make the air fresh for us to breathe. Okay, so let's see here. Plants give air. What are all the types of this? Plants give us. Plants give us fruits and vegetables. See, plants give us fruits and vegetables. This we have saw in the last lesson itself. Isn't it, children? Food we eat. I showed you about the plants that gives us fruits, and also I showed you about the plants that gives us vegetables. Okay, isn't it? I showed you right. So this is the example of that they said that plants give us. Fruits and vegetables. See, they showed you here the shape of apple. It is also one of the fruit, isn't it? In that fruit, they give us banana, tomato, carrot, radish. They describe these are all vegetables, isn't it? See, tomato, carrot, radish. They describe these are all vegetables that we got from plants. And here, grapes, banana. Mango and here pear. This is also we get from fruits. These are all the fruits that we got from that we got from plants, isn't it, children? So we got we are getting plants. We are getting fruits and vegetables from plants, isn't it, children? From plants. And the second one here, what it is, children? Wood. What it is? Wood. W O O D. Wood. So we are getting wood. From plants, we are using to what are doing? We are, we are furnitures are also made from wood, isn't it? So uh, doors, windows, desk, chair, these are all made from wood. So where are we getting wood? We are getting wood from trees, isn't it? We are getting wood from trees. So all the furniture items that we are, that uh, that are our home, that all we are getting from trees. So that also one of the main important use. For us to use, isn't it? So trees giving wood for us. And then what it is? Cotton. What it is, children? It is here. Cotton plant. We are using cotton. What we are uh, preparing, children? Uh, we are getting wood, uh, cotton cloth, isn't it? We are getting cotton cloth also. So we are we are wearing daily, isn't it? So we are getting cloth also from cotton. And then what it is? Medicines. What it is? Medicines. So we are getting medicines also from plants. See so what all the medicines are. See, we are using. Uh, if you are, if you are getting uh, tulsi means for what purpose is tulsi used for? For cold. For cold, we are uh, drinking tulsi. If we drink tulsi water, means cold will cure, isn't it? So for uh, tulsi and also mint and also neem. Also, one of the best medicine for us, isn't it? So, for by using the neem, tulsi, and all, we are getting medicine. So, plants also used as medicine. So, children, what are the uses of plants? They said here, plants are useful for us in many ways. Plants make the air fresh for us to breathe. And what plants use as fruits and vegetables? Plants give as wood. Plants give as cotton. Plants give us medicine. Okay, children. This is end of our chapter. What we have discussed today, children. We have discussed about big plants and small plants. Big plants are called trees. Okay, the stem of the tree is called trunk, and it is also many branches. Trees of many uh, homes. Trees are useful for many animals such as birds, monkeys. Isn't it? That and all we saw about trees. Isn't it? Because of many branches. Example, I said you about neem tree, banyan tree, and mango tree. Isn't it? So this is all about big plants. We move to the small plants. Small plants are smaller. Small plants are smaller than trees. Okay, and it is also very tall in. They are not that much tall in size. Okay, it is also very very medium size, and it is also classified into four different sizes, four different types. We saw about herbs, shrubs. Climbers and creepers. Okay, when we talk about the herbs, herbs are very thin. Herbs are very thin, are very thin. Isn't it? We saw about herbs and I showed you about the examples of uh, tulsi 
mint and uh, what I showed you coriander, isn't it? So let's see mint and coriander. I showed you for the example of herbs. Okay. When we move to the shirts, when we move to the shirts, what are the examples I showed you? I showed you the plants of hibiscus plant, isn't it? The example of rose plant, hibiscus plant, jasmine plants are all, all examples for shirts. It is not very big, very big tall, uh, but it stems or thick and thin and woody, okay? But it stems or thin and woody. Then you go to the climbers, the stem of a climbers is very long and is also thin like a rope. And if you move to the creepers, creepers have big steps and it should not stand erect. Okay, this is all about what children, herbs, shirts, climbers and creepers. Okay, children, this is the end of your lesson. And if you move to the assignment, you have to write lesson number seven, three words, question answers in a class of note, complete worksheets, one, two and three in your book. Okay, children, don't forget to write class of as well as you have to complete worksheets, one, two and three in your book. Okay, children, this is the end of your lesson. Thank you, children.